morning. I'm going to try and move this up a little bit. Hold it on a different pillar today, so... <laughs> Hopefully that will do it without falling backwards. We'll see. Because <laughs> I don't want it down here. I don't want it up here either. So it's a happy medium. <laughs> okay, I've not been up long, so sorry if my words get all tongue-tied. And I've just cleaned out my rats, so sorry if you can hear them as well. But I was here for the collective today, angels. I was here for the collective today. I was here for the collective today. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this comes out quite a lot. This is the Four of Queens, 44 just turned up. This is letting go, learning to let go, um, not holding on too tightly in any situation, whether it's regarding money, a person, people, just try not to grip on too tightly. So learn to let go. Managing your resources wisely. Uh, wisely. Extremes in highs and lows, give and receive money. So when you get some, give some back. Time or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white, being charitable. So even if you've got your last penny in the bank, just spend it. Don't worry about hanging on to it because it's your last penny. Just spend it like you have an ever-flowing flow of money. <laughs> um, three of uh, ones. This is waiting for something. So you're definitely waiting for something. I don't know what it is, um, but you're definitely waiting for something. <clears throat> um, planning for long term abundance from past choices pride in success of your labours be patient while you decide what's next so maybe you're learning to be patient at the minute too but you're definitely waiting for something to come in your ships to come in whether it's a person, situation, whatever it is <clears throat> uh, let's see what there is alright, I'm just going to get them all together again I'm just going to shuffle through time so, anything else for the collective today? Just <clears throat> maybe you're even waiting for money or finances. Um, there is a offer coming in of passion or something you're passionate about. So it could be job or a person. <clears throat> it could also be you wanting to offer passion. Uh, two 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 just turned up. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused and a passionate relationship. So whatever it is, it's quite exciting. <clears throat> uh, three more cards, please. Okay, so there is um, heartbreak, sadness at the minute, a third party. Um, can be a third party situation, but sadness and heartache. So someone's feeling very heartbroken at the minute. So great sadness that will heal in time. So time always heals. Let go of the past. So try not to keep looking back or whatever's happened. Personal growth that comes from challenges, healing, misunderstandings, and being there for those in need. <clears throat> so yeah, someone's feeling really sad at the minute. Maybe you're waiting for passion because you're feeling heartbroken, possibly from a third party situation. Um, Queen of Cups, um, this person's very kind, caring, loving, compassionate, stably balanced, as in emotionally balanced. Um, self-sacrificing don't be too self-sacrificing too because I did that almost all my life three two threes has turned up and um <clears throat> you have to give back to yourself as well rather than just giving all your energy away otherwise you have nothing less for yourself so um yeah try not to be too self-sacrificing um caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself basically trust your intuition a deep love of family and friends and follow your heart so this could be you or another person around you that's very caring, kind, compassionate. <clears throat> Maybe they're feeling really sad if it's you or another person. Uh, why is counsel? So it could be you could be having counsel at the minute. You could be a counsellor or you could be seeking wise counsel. You could also be signing contracts, getting into a relationship, getting married, engaged, um, divorced even. Could be anything. Maybe um, a divorce is causing sadness or a breakup. <clears throat> something to do with a contract could even be like a business partner or something like that unity with spiritually minded community ask the divine for help and trust the answers that will come compare traditional methods with new ideas and see what is best for you <clears throat> so that's what's on the back so let's see what there is today for the clarifiers so i'm going to start off with wise counsel so where is wise counsel here <clears throat> you hold the key to your happiness too um, and look for signs, synchronicities and signals from the divine. 
sorry stuff comes to me if i look at the picture a little bit more <laughs> um if i do it too quickly i forget certain things anything else for that wise council or anything at all actually anything else this might just be self-explanatory on oh, no, it's not the beaver I had this out yesterday for someone <clears throat> beavers build up walls so it could be a wall but um seven of cups there's options opening um so maybe seeking wise counsel maybe there's options around you maybe this wise counsel will help you know that there's options around you coming towards you um or there's people around you that will give you good advice or advice um temperance <clears throat> this is learning patience this is having a healthy balance and this is also divine guidance so the divine are helping bring options around you that will give you wise counsel it should be you helping others too um it's a blue fitted booby again it always reminds me of my mum <laughs> i don't know if she's ever watched this when i've said it but i say it every time um blue fitted booby to a source so there's a, some kind of decision that's going to be really hard again it could be within a contract um it's going to open up options and it's divinely guided and there is going to be um you're going to learn you know you're going to have divine energy perfect harmony miracles but you're also going to learn patience and balance as well but it's going to be a tough decision indecision information overload impasse so a decision that's double-edged sword so it's not nice if that makes sense it's kind of a tough decision so let's see why the queen of cups is here queen of cups two i flipped over six of ones so you're going to have this person, whether it's you or another person, is going to have success and victory. Um, forward movement, moment of glory, shine in your inner light. So at the moment, it's either you or another person that's shining your inner light. And you're going to have some kind of truth or clarity, and maybe that's going to bring success. <clears throat> um, it's going to bring success towards you, and you're going to be shining your inner light and having your moment of glory. Conquest, clear vision and discernment yeah there's definitely some kind of truth or clarity coming from the divine so if you believe in that it's kind of in there <laughs> um what are you waiting for three of ones what are you waiting for <clears throat> beaver again options so you're waiting for options to come towards you probably in passion because you're going through sadness at the minute or your passions whatever you're interested in anything else yeah three of cups so there's lots of threes today. You've got lots of threes with the three, which is sadness, third party. You've got three of cups, which is celebration, but it can be third party as well. And you've got threes here. So um, you're, you've, maybe you've got options. Maybe you've got about three people, could be more. Um, but it also could mean that you were in a third party situation. You have been in a third party situation. Maybe you're waiting. Um, for something or you've got too many options maybe and you're looking back on the past there's some kind of nostalgia um you're definitely looking backwards so try not to look backwards because that'll keep you stuck um look at the cups that are still standing don't look at future or past because it makes you quite depressed <clears throat> always look at the now and be grateful for now just pick something out in the day that you're grateful for three of swords so this is third high situation sadness but you're definitely waiting for something and you're planning for long term too but be patient as you decide what's next um but yeah healing within time so time heals um from this great sadness six of cups maybe you're um maybe you're feeling sad because you either won or you have just had your um six of cups which is past life energy maybe that's why the past was coming up before too it's either past life and X, so that's why you're looking backwards because you've got great sadness and loss from it possibly. Um, and it can be someone you know already, not someone from future, it's past, if that makes sense. Either someone you've met recently, someone you know already, someone from past life or an X. Um, but you've got great sadness, you're possibly in a third party, but heartbreak basically, you're feeling very heartbroken. Go back to your inner child and you're reminiscing for sure. You might have some kind of reunion with them though. They might be coming in for reunion and it might be something you've been manifesting. You've been thinking about a lot. You've been wanting the seeds that you've sown are now ready to come in a third party situation. <clears throat> you've definitely been looking backwards on a past person. Um, maybe that causes great sadness or it was someone who did put you in a third party situation or you put them in it. It can be the other way around. 
So Knight of Wands, this is an offer of passion, confidence, charismatic, restless, events require immediate action and trust your instincts, stay focused and passionate relationship. So it can either be a person, passionate relationship, could be you wanting to send someone or offer someone passion, or it can be going towards your passions or you get an offer of something to do with that you're passionate about. Mum again. <laughs> Double-edged sword um, decision. So yeah, there's definitely some kind of decision to do with passion, either physical passion or uh, passions that you're interested in. But you're going to have um, success and victory. So it looks like there's an offer coming in. You're going to have to make a decision to do with passion or passions. Um, it's going to be your moment of glory too. So make the right decision. Um, four of coins. What are you holding on to tightly to? What do you need to let go of? Four of Queens. Four of Queens. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. So wishes and dreams, soulmate. Maybe try not to think about it too much. Maybe just learn to let go, release control. Maybe stop thinking too much because it will come towards you. Your wishes and dreams and your soulmate are going to come towards you. 11-11 just showed up too. Healing hope, healing hope, gifts from great spirit, perfect harmony, sacred union and mutual attraction. So you are going to have that or maybe you're just holding on too tightly to this if you have it already. You need to release control. You need to not worry so much or it's to do with money. You're worrying about money within this um, relationship. Maybe you want to go towards your or you want to offer your two of cups like your someone who you see as a soulmate, you want to offer them passion and go towards them, but you are holding on too tightly. You're thinking about money. You need to release that kind of fear, fear of loss, basically. Anything else here for the divine? Sorry for the uh, thingy. There's some kind of um, someone wearing a false mask. It could be you. You could be wearing a false mask and you're sat in this worrying and you come across like you don't worry about stuff like that, but maybe you do or you're holding on too tightly and you're wearing a false mask because you are worrying all the time. Or it could be, there's devil in the details, secrecy mask, there could be secrecy around you. Could, someone could be stealing from you, someone could be lying, not telling you the truth, that kind of thing, or it could be you towards another person. Um, temperance, divine harmony, miracles. Um, you've had challenges, but you're gonna have miracles coming towards you. You're, you're learning patience and balance, that comes out a lot. But you overcome all your challenges too, but you, you sometimes can self-sabotage as well. But be courage, because you will achieve everything you want to achieve. But yeah, someone's wearing a false mask. It could be you. Um, it could be someone else. Right, or someone was wearing a false mask. Okay, let's see what else there is. For the, uh, for the collective, I keep saying divine for some reason. I'm sure they're fine. Four of pentacles again, letting go. This has come out twice now. You need to not grip on too tightly. Sacrosy consciousness. So you're you're worried about sacrificing all the time. 13, 13. Material success and fear of loss. So either within people, a person or things, material things. I think that's it. I'm going to leave it there. And again, this has come out maybe the fourth, fifth time learning patience learning um to rely on the divine the divine have your back um to so stop worrying and um you will get your miracles but you have to kind of let go of control let go of the fear of loss of money or let go of um holding on too tightly to a person so i hope that's made sense and um or holding on to the, just the fear of losing someone you know like if you have them in your life already and you're always worrying about losing and that kind of thing um, but I hope that's helped. Bye.